Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. God said, if you mess, if you are Israelite, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, if you mess with the other nations, the white woman, the Chinese woman, the Japanese woman, or vice versa, guess what? The Bible says they're gonna turn your heart for following the Most High God. The Black God, the Black Christ. So the Israelites are not supposed to be with the white woman. The Blacks are not supposed to be with whites. Blacks are not supposed to be with Japanese. Blacks are not supposed to be with Chinese. Not supposed to be with Africans, because we're not Africans, we're the Israelites. Don't mess with the other nations. Don't mess with the other races outside of your own. That's what the Bible is saying. Mary. But is that according to the Bible? Let's find out. Bro, we reading out of the King James Ver Version Bible, and you are an Israelite. Come over here, because I know you got questions. <laughs> Read on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 3. Read on. We in Deuteronomy 7 and verse 3. Read what you got. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. So the Bible says the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans shall not make marriages with them. Who's them? The white man, the Chinese man, right. the African, because we're not Africans, we're the Israelites, right. the Japanese, we're not supposed to mess with them. Right. A, we can only mess with the Israelites. We can only mess with the Israelites who are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Bring Those are our people. Right. We're the right. same people. Right. Read on. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. Don't marry them. In Louisville, in Louisville, Kentucky, you see it a lot. Don't mess with the other nations. Don't mess with the other races outside of your own. That's what the Bible's saying. Read it for yourself. Where are we reading from? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 3. We read it Deuteronomy 7, verse 3. Out of the King James Version Bible. That's right. You can read it for yourself. These are not my words. Read it from the top. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 3. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughters thou shalt not give unto his sons, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy sons. For they will turn away thy son from following me. God said, if you mess, if you are Israelite, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, if you mess with the other nations, the white woman, the Chinese woman, the Japanese woman, or vice versa. Guess what? The Bible says they're going to turn your heart for following the Most High God. The Black God. The Black Christ. Because that's what the Bible says. Read that second part again. Verse 4. They will turn away thy sons from following me. Because guess what? The white man's holiday is Christmas. The Most High God never gave that to us. The most high God, when you read in uh, Le uh, Leviticus 23, he gave us tabernacles. Right. He gave us Passover. Right. Yeah. He gave us new moons. Right. Black, right. People, black people don't know nothing about these holidays. The Sabbath. the Sabbath. Today's the Sabbath. Bring it up. Our people never heard these things before because in the churches, the pastor don't teach this. Right. But it's in the Bible. Right. It's in the Bible. Read that part again. Verse 4. For they will turn away thy sons from following me, right. that they may serve 
other gods. Guess what? When you once you get with these, once you get with the white woman, guess what? You're gonna serve her gods. You're gonna do things that uh, is pleasing to her to keep her around. You're gonna start serving white Jesus, which is not in the Bible. The Bible clearly says. Jesus is black, right. and we can show you in Revelation chapter 1. Bring it out. You can read it for yourself. Right. You can read it for yourself. Read that second part again. Verse 4. Say, say. For they will turn away thy sons from following me. They gonna have you celebrating Valentine's Day, Halloween, New Year's. That's what the Bible says. Don't celebrate that stuff. Thanksgiving. You know what's crazy? Our people claim they half Indian, but still celebrate Thanksgiving. Bring it out. That's right. Look, our people is crazy. Read the last part again. Verse 4. For they will turn away thy son from following me. Now give me Deuteronomy 7 verse 6 real quick. Because I made a statement. I said the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans are special people. We read it out of the King James Version Bible. We're the greatest people on the face of this earth. We're the greatest people on the face of this earth. We are the greatest people on the face of this earth. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people. So the Bible says, the Bible says, we are holy people. The blacks are holy people. The Hispanics are holy people. Read on. Unto the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So you got to look at this. God chose the black man, the black woman, unto himself. He handpicked us. We are special. Just like when you got it. But you got a closet full of shoes. Bring it out, you got a favorite pair of shoes right. in the closet right. that you chose. The Most High God chose us. Right. The Most High God chose us. Right. The Most High God chose us to be a what? The Lord our God had chosen thee to be a special people no unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So how you doing, brother? The Bible says we are special people above all people on the face of this earth. That's right. That's okay. Not my words. What I need to do, sir, that's the point where you said that black and white not supposed to get married. Then you quoted the book or something? Book? Yes, sir. Write, write that down. Write, write me the name of that book, that, that chapter, book, whatever it was that, okay? We're, we're going to read it for you. No, 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 no. Just write it down because I got some things I, I need to do. But, uh, but uh, just write that down, okay? Because I, I, I can write it down. You got your phone? No. You don't get your phone? No. We're going to read it for you real quick. No, 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 no. No. I, I need to have a come. I, I want to have a conversation with some people within my family, with some people that, that I spoke to. That's what you just said, okay? We don't got no pen, sir. To write that down. That's why. This brother right here in the car when I hear it. We're going to read it real quick. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 3. We the Israelites, brother. Get you a flyer. Did you get a flyer? We the Israelites. Right. We, read, we read in the Old Testament, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Look at it and read it for yourself. Verse 3, neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. So the Israelites are not supposed to be with the white woman. The blacks are not supposed to be with whites. Blacks are not supposed to be with Japanese. Blacks are not supposed to be with Chinese. Not supposed to be with Africans because we're not Africans. We're the Israelites. We're two different people. Matter of fact, let's get there real quick. But this is Exodus uh, 11 and 7, yes. Because you might think that we Africans, because we look alike, we look alike, but just because we look alike, don't make us the same people. Bring it out. They got dark-skinned uh, Japanese, got dark-skinned uh, Asians. Right. So, <laughs> they cover all of them, really. Go ahead, read what you got. The book of Exodus, chapter 11 and verse 7. Bring it out. But against any of the children of Israel, but against any of the children of Israel, the Israelites are blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's, that's, Those are, that's Israel. That's right. Shall not a dog move his tongue? Shall not a dog move his tongue? We're going to find out what that dog is according to the Bible. Right. Against man or beast, that they may know how the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So God made a difference between the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and the Egyptians. So though we may look alike, we are two 
different people. So we may look alike, we are two different people. We are two different people. Now, give me, give me, let's go to Deuteronomy. No, 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 no. Let's show, let's show some color in the Bible real quick. Bring it out, huh? We're gonna do some basic stuff. That's right. Some basic stuff. Because it's very important that our people know. Right. Because they say the white man wrote the Bible. Right. That's the white man's book. Bring it yeah. out. Really? Really? Teach. Uh, let's find out. It's the white man's book. Teach. Read what you got. Bring it out. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Bring it out. Judah morning. And the gates thereof languished. Uh -huh. They are black unto the ground. Sis, did you hear this? Look. Read that again. Watch this, sis. It's a car. It's a car. It's a car. So you from Mexico? No. Are you you've you been over here? Okay. All praises. So yeah. Matter of fact, before I get that real quick, look at this sign. It's a car. Right here. Uh so this is what God called us. Uh, and this is what uh the white man called us right here. So you are Mexican, so where are you at? Where you at? It's a car. You was an Aztec Indians. That's right. That's right. I see you with that cigarette in your hand too. Throw, throw that down. I'm about to touch on that too, but throw that down. Throw that down. We don't smoke over here. But watch this real quick. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it up. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the matter of fact, I'll just read this. I was talking about the other scripture, but watch this. I'm gonna show you something according to the Bible. Read it again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So have you ever heard that you were an Israelite before? You haven't? Okay. So are you familiar with the Bible? Do you read it all? You read a little bit? Okay, so this is Moses, our forefather, our forefather, because we the Israelites, we the same people. This is Moses, our forefather, saying, if we keep the commandments of God, we'll be blessed. If we don't keep it, we're going to be cursed. Right. Now, sis, what's your name? I'm sorry. Loopy. Loopy? All right, sis Loopy. What is a curse? Is it something bad? Is it something good? What's a curse? Yeah. Something bad, exactly. It's something bad. Now we're gonna prove it, cause what I say don't matter. It's what the Bible says. Right. We're reading out the King James Version Bible. Now, let's get a curse real quick. The book. Matter of fact, let's get 37 real quick, because you Mexican, right? Who conquered Mexico? Hernando Cortez, a Spaniard, a white man, right? Right. He gave you that name, right? Cause what does Mexican mean? For example, we call African Americans. They came from two white men. Those are the names of two white men. Haitian means son of hell. That's not a nationality. This is really a title. Mexican is a title too. What does that mean? If you call yourself Mexican, you're calling yourself what? Hispanic. That's how I call myself. Okay, I'm gonna touch on that too. Hispanic means what? That has a meaning too. You can look it up too. We can go on Google or wherever. Hispanic means his property basically oh, when you say i'm hispanic you saying i'm his property whose property the white man's property bring it out that's what you're saying bring mexican means son of the moon right that's not a nationality that's just a title right god calls you it's a card we used to scream black power while heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we're men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth